Hi, my name is Gary Taylor and I want to show you through React Router and how to use the navigation to move around different patterns and to load around different pages. Um, this is a follow on from a book I'm currently writing and details are coming to you at the top about that now. Okay, um, React Router um, comes with a component called Link. And what this does, it allows you to render this component um, into your site and it generates um, a, an anchor tag that will allow the user to click it, but it won't refresh the page. It will actually just uh, navigate away uh, as you'd expect a spur to do where the page isn't reloaded, it, the component is just refreshed. So now that I have this component loaded in, what I want to do is create a navigational component that will have my link and that will just become our menu system. Okay, so I've created a navigational property that has it, that's using the new link component that we've imported from React Router. We have a prop called two, which um, can take a string, which will be the root that we want. So forward slash would be the home, the contact us, the about us. So what we're saying is go to a URL that looks like that. And in fact, I'll, I'll say contact us, so it works. Uh, and that would be contact us, pages. And the about, and then the frequently asked questions. So now we've got this navigational component in, let's render this onto the screen. So I'm going to take this navigation and let's just load it up. I'm not bothering with any design at the moment. I'm not bothering with updating the CSS. So obviously it looks horrendous, but cleaning that up is just a little bit of CSS to, to work with. If we click the links, um, hopefully we can see that they're all working now. So we've got the home, the contact us, the about us, and the frequently asked questions. So it was literally that easy. Now, if you look very closely, we can see that when we move around, the site isn't reloading. We aren't getting the loading window. And if we was to F12 and look at the console, you would see that there is nothing happening. We are not refreshing the entire browser. We're not making other uh, requests to the server. It's all being done client side as a true spur would. And that is just by using the link section. Now, Link has a lot of tools and a lot of uh, tricks in its book, uh, in its bag, rather. And I explain quite a lot of them within the book uh, information coming at the top. Um, one of these things is to allow us to apply styles if that particular component or that particular route is active. So if we look, we've applied an active styles prop and we're passing in an object which is color green. And if we go to the FAQ, we can now see that it is in fact green. So I'm just going to update the others so we've got the same uh, pattern. So as we refresh, we should be able to see that the about us, home, about us, contact, sorry, about us, contact us, and FAQ turned green as we moved around. Um, if I put that on the home, once again, an interesting thing happens in that it will stay green for all of them, including the home, just like the ugly thing that raised its head before, where we had to put the exactly in the same problem we've got with the link to the home page. Now, there isn't a nice um, exactly syntax. What we have is the activate only when exact property. A uh, bit of a mouthful, and if you set that to true, then that will only happen if it's an absolute match. So we can see now that home is, isn't green anymore or any longer because it isn't the exact match. If we click home, we can now see that that's matching. In the next video that I'll be doing, I'll be talking about miss which is another component given to you by the React Router family. And this allows you to have a 
not found page or a not found component load if the URL isn't found. And that also has some really cool tricks.